today my subject is antioxidant network so anti aging we know that there are five very important antioxidants in our body and these are glutathione alpha lipoic acid ubiquinone vitamin c and vitamin e these are the most important antioxidants which protect our dna and help us to live long without any diseases vitamin e Uh, should be taken as uh, mixed tocopherols and we should take about 500 mg every day we know that we can't get enough from the food for example we need about 100 pounds of broiled liver if we were to get that much of vitamin e or 125 tablespoons of peanut oil so that's not practical to get it from food and we really need about 500 mg of mixed tocopherols for proper health and the damage which happens to our body which causes aging is mainly from the free radicals when our cells produce energy there's production of free radicals as well and we need the energy we can't live without ener- live without energy and unfortunately the free radicals form and they cause damage to other structures in our cells which leads to cancer alzheimers parkinson's diabetes cataracts arthritis and basically aging of the body the antioxidants which we mentioned react with these free radicals and they decrease the damaging effects of the free radicals thereby protecting our structure and vitamin c and lipoic acid we know can regenerate or recycle glutathione which is the primary antioxidant of the body so these antioxidants we mentioned before work as a network to regenerate each other and now it is estimated that there are 10000 free radical hits per cell which happens every day vitamin e and ubiquinone or coenzyme Q10 protect our cell membrane because they are fat soluble alpha lipoic acid can work in both fatty and the watery areas therefore it works in the cell membrane as well as inside the cell so it's very important antioxidant it also can regenerate glutathione in the cell by 30% and vitamin E protects the lipoproteins which are LDL and LDL mainly from oxidation we know that oxidized cholesterol or oxidized ldl is the main reason why we get heart disease strokes and alzheimers so vitamin e is absolutely essential for prevention of heart disease and strokes vitamin c provides us with longevity and we know that ubiquinone or coenzyme q10 and vitamin e work very closely with each other and similarly we have been using ubiquinone with heart failure angina hypertension parkinson's and alzheimers for many years especially in japan with great results and that has to be part of our anti-aging program glutathione as we know is the most abundant antioxidant in the cells of our body as we age we know that the levels go down and antioxidants generally protect our genes from free radicals and in addition to that we know now that antioxidants also regulate expression of the genes so free radicals are necessary although they damage and cause aging they're necessary for us as well for example when our immune system is fighting infections we use anti and uh, free radicals for that to kill the bacteria and viruses and for example immune cells produce nitric oxide and superoxide free radicals to poison the bacteria and viruses and uh, these free radicals which are produced must be instantly trapped or else they attack and oxidize DNA causing damage to our normal cells ultraviolet rays we know produce singlet oxygen in the skin which is also a potent free radical and there are ozone which produce by cigarette smoke automobile exhaust is another free radical another important free radical is created by iron and is not bound to protein it trigger free radical reaction that's why when we know that people who have a lot of iron have a high likelihood of getting cancers so high iron levels occur uh, we 
with all Shamus Parkinson's heart disease and stroke and another free radical forming substance is asbestos we know that asbestos when go onto the lungs causes fibrosis and lung damage and free radicals are involved with that damage as well so alpha lipoic acid are known to increase other network antioxidants and we know that we use it in treatment of mushroom poisoning and in hepatitis C lipoic acid apparently can recycle all the other network antioxidants so it's very essential part of our anti-aging program it's also the only accident antioxidant which can regenerate itself and we know that you can't get it from the food although it's available in all food in very small quantities it takes about seven pounds of spinach to make one milligrams of alpha lipoic acid but we recommend about 120 milligrams of alpha lipoic acid to for anti-aging purposes alpha lipoic acid is known to cross the blood brain barrier and increase glutathione levels in the brain to protect of the brains that means to protect us from memory loss alpha lipoic acid is very important now we know that when you get a heart attack or a stroke the damage which happens mostly happens with the free radicals that means when the blood flow returns to the dead muscle or almost dying muscle because of the high level of free radicals formed with reoxygenation that's what kills the muscle off in case of a heart attack or the brain off in case of a stroke and so alpha lipoic acid which were given to animals before creating heart attacks protected them from dying that also shows us how important these antioxidants are in our day-to-day -day life so even if you get a heart attack if you are on antioxidant treatments you will get only a very small amount of damage and more than likely the antioxidants will prevent you from getting a heart attack or a stroke in the first place because it prevents atherosclerosis as well Amanita mushroom poisoning is a very serious condition where usually 60 to 90 percent of the people die but if you provide alpha lipoic acid to these people right away almost 95 percent 98 percent of them can survive and we also know alpha lipoic acid can suppress bad genes and we talked about expression of the genes so antioxidants do improve the expression of the genes you can imagine how important this can be for uh, example young people who are uh, young females who wants to be pregnant and if you have antioxidants you have good expression of genes and we know through epigenetics these are transferred to your second and third generations as well so your child and the child's child grandchildren will also have better lives if you are if you are on a high level of antioxidants because they express good genes and turn off bad genes. Diabetes mellitus is a disease which is increasing in the world because of the bad food we eat. And we know as we get older, the likelihood of diabetes increases because most of the people who have diabetes are older people unless they get it when you are very young because of really bad diet. When you are about 70 years of age, the likelihood of getting diabetes becomes about 20 times more. For example, in 1900, there's only 1% 1 of the population who had diabetes, but today we have about 5 to 6%, and in 2050, we think about half the people on earth will have diabetes because of bad diet and the toxins. So, diabetic patients have very low levels of antioxidants like glutathione they have high levels of glycation which means the glucose binding with their proteins creating damaged proteins for example damaged skin collagen causes them to have high amounts of age spots and wrinkles and glycation also causes free radicals so glucose when combines with protein increases the free radical formation and so for example you get nerve damage lead to peripheral neuropathy where you get numbness of the feet or hands and in the brain we have a high amount of free radical formation because brain 
dollars working in, when you are sleeping, 20% of the oxygen supply of the body goes to the brain. For example, to protect the brain, we use free radicals. Sometimes we use additional antioxidants like pine bark extract or ginkgo biloba, as well as vitamin E. And AIDS is a disease which can be really helped with antioxidants. And when you have AIDS, you have weakened immune system, we can T cells and we also know that radiation also causes a lot of free radicals and when people smoke, each puff of smoke contains thousands of free radicals. Vitamin E prevents Alzheimer's better than prescription drug. So today your best bet against Alzheimer's is vitamin E. It keeps your skin youthful. It also is known to prevent breast cancer and prostate cancer. And vitamin E is found in 8 different compounds. And we recommend that people take all 8 kinds. We call it mixed tof tocopherols. When you have extreme vitamin E deficiency, it causes wasting and severe muscle weakness. And we know that vitamin E is recycled by vitamin C, alpha lipoic acid and ubiquinone. which is one of the main reasons why people get atherosclerosis and it's known to turn genes on and off and it's known to turn the bad genes off and from the studies we have found that vitamin E supplements cause 41% less cancer deaths and 40% less heart uh, related deaths. Vitamin E is also known to inhibit a protein called protein kinase C which activates enzymes stimulating tumor growth. And in experiments vitamin E is known to prolong the limit of doubling of cells because one, of, one other theory of aging is that the cells have a limited number of doubling which we call hay flick limit and when vitamin E is given to animals it's shown that the cells can keep on dividing a little longer. Another good example is when people eat carotid stenosis which is the blockage of the main artery to the brain and that's the condition which is known to cause uh, strokes. 94% of the patients who take tocotrienols, which is one kind of vitamin E, had improvement or stabilization of this condition. And tocotrienols also protect against liver disease. They reduce LDL and increase HDL. And they work against both kinds of breast cancers, which are estrogen positive and negative. On the other hand, tamoxifen only works against estrogen positive cancer and we know that tamoxifen can actually cause uterine cancer. So trochotinos are much better to protect against breast cancer. And tocotrienols are recycled 60 times readily, more readily than tocopherols. Gamma tocopherol is another vitamin E which is usually found in soy and corn oil but they are usually removed during refining and they were sold, sold to other factories to make alpha tocopherol. So most of the vitamin E found in vitamin E bottles are alpha tocopherol which is not the best kind and in fact taking only one kind can damage your system because it seems to block the effect of other kinds of vitamin E's. We know our immune cells like T cells hunt down foreign invaders suppressor t-cells help protect identify our own cells when we are about 70 to 80 years half of the t-cells are not capable of responding to an antigen or foreign body because they are already damaged vitamin e boost the function of these cells by about 30 percent and 10 percent of the americans over 65 years of age have alzheimer's which is very high incidence and increasing rapidly because of the bad food and toxins in our environment vitamin e actually helps lower the risk of Alzheimer's better than any available medication today. Two-thirds of the Americans 
and usually get contracted by the age of 85. And we know that 10% of the Medicare budget actually goes to treat cataracts. Ubiquinone occurs on Q10, regenerates with knee. It also rejuvenates brain cells and helps to protect against Alzheimer's. Ubiquinone is only found in long living animals. It's called coenzyme Q10. There are other coenzyme, coenzymes which are like Q7 or Q8 which are, which are shorter than coenzyme Q10 are found in animals who don't live that long. So obviously ubiquinone is very important for long life. Glutathione. If your glutathione levels go low and we call it a marker of death at any age. For example, people with AIDS, cancer and autoimmune diseases, these levels are lower. And also, cataracts which are caused by years of exposure to sunlight is uh, protected by glutathione. For example, after somebody has a stroke, their glutathione levels plummet. Glutathione is produced by cells, all our cells produce it. And also sometimes tucked away by proteins, so we store it to be used later. And glutathione is in the body is usually depleted by alcohol, smoking, any kind of drug, especially acetaminophen. Glutathione is important when you produce DNA and also for cell replication. And also is important for storage and transport of amino acids. We know that it turns off the inflammatory gene. So glutathione binds to our toxins through conjugation make them soluble so they can be excreted through the kidney. This happens in the liver normally. So we have only one system of detoxification and glutathione is essential part of part of it. <coughs> Steroid hormones are also broken down in the liver and glutathione is needed for that. Sometimes we see that marathon runners after they do a marathon they succumb to infections almost like pneumonia. Flavonoids are also found in plants. They improve memory and concentration. Flavonoids regulate nitric oxide, improve sexual function, and reduce inflammation. You can use it as ginkgo biloba or pycnogenol. Nitric oxide is a free radical we find in our body, also found in smog and automobile exhaust and cigarette smoke. And we know it damages the ozone layer and is a potent carcinogen. But inside the body, it has some beneficial function as well. And for example, it can turn genes on and off, regulate circulation, is important for memory and brain cell communication. And it, with immune cells, we use nitric oxide to fight infection, kill tumor cells, promote wound healing, and also it translates to sexual excitement, and also important for gastric movements. But it has destructive, function, destructive functions as free radical. It can restrict blood flow, contribute to heart disease and stroke. And when made in excess, it can trigger chronic inflammation, arthritis, inflammatory bowel disease, and even cancer. So it promotes free radicals. So it can cause memory loss and brain aging as well. When it, can, uh, when it meets superoxide, it becomes peroxynitrite, which can destroy glutathione. Ginkgo biloba is the, one of the oldest trees of the world. It makes a lot of free radicals. And you can use this to, for anti-aging. And pycnogenol in from the pine bark tree also contain a lot of antioxidants. And we can use it to regeneration of glutathione and vitamin E in the body. Carotenoids are very important antioxidants found in vegetables. Lycopene found in tomatoes lowers prostate cancer incidence. Lutein and zeaxanthin cause lower risk of macular degeneration. We know that beta carotene found in carrots and alpha carotene also found in carrots can be easily converted to vitamin A <coughs> and they protect against cancer as well. Dark green vegetables are rich in antioxidants. They are known to prevent macular degeneration, which is the reason for blindness of most people. And when you expose to bright light, that accelerates retin retinal degeneration. Dark green vegetables, especially rich in zeaxanthin and lutein, which are really helpful to 
prevent macular degeneration. Selenium is a compound found in onion family. They're very important for glutathione peroxidase, which is it produces glutathione in the body. So selenium is an important anti-aging supplement because it also improves immunity. Vitamin C obviously is very important. You know, 50% of the people eventually die from heart disease. And so, lipoic acid, ubiquinone, uh, as well as all the other antioxidants are helpful to prevent heart disease. And vitamin C is an important part of this antioxidant network. It's important to note that frozen food products may not have vitamin C preserved in them because it gets destroyed by <coughs> freezing and the apples and carrots contain quercetin apples have quercetin which is highly protective against cancer strawberries contain allergic acid which protects against cancer as well carrots celery parsnips they are all important for prevention of cancer other vegetables are also very important for prevention of cancer you know lemon eel find in citrus peels is very important to protect against cancer <coughs> and cruciferous vegetables and spinach also contain important antioxidants sweet potatoes are very important because it has high amount of beta carotene and carotenoids we know cooked tomatoes is the best source of lycopene and turmeric contain curcumin which is very high in antioxidant activity and L-carnitine is another antioxidant we use for athletes and vitamin C and E when applied directly on the skin reduce aging on the skin and for further anti-aging we should avoid all animal foods and especially dairy foods which is the worst form of animal foods avoid meat fish and eggs Avoid sugar of all kinds. Fructose we know is a poison, so sugars, desserts should be all avoided. Even fruits high in sugar should be avoided as much as possible. Coconut oil is the most and the best anti-aging, best anti-aging oil on earth. Use coconut oil as much as possible. Avoid red rice. I mean, bran of the rice contain arsenic, anti-nutrients, and phytate, which are not beneficial for our health. Eat a lot of beans and green leaves daily mushrooms, onion family, cabbage family, anything in the cabbage family is very important for anti-aging, berries as well as seeds and take our essential supplements which is D3 and K2 and B12 as well as vitamins and magnesium as the mineral and antioxidants for everybody are alpha lipoic acid and NSL 16 daily and for diabetes, high, pressure, high blood pressure, arthritis and depression we have a very special antioxidants stay away from smoking alcohol sun and sleep well and reduce stress